What's up, everybody? We're here at the bridge in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're gonna play a special round right here. We're gonna play a mulligan round. We're gonna start here on hole one. Once again, this is the bridge in Biloxi. Got me and my buddy Kevin out here. Um, you're gonna see a couple of good shots, a couple bad shots, hopefully some really good shots, and maybe an ace. Maybe we might catch an ace on camera today. Here's the map. The one thing about this course is it's nice. It's underneath one of the interstates we have here in Biloxi, I-110, and it's always shaded. There's guaranteed shade every part of the day. Um, right here, like five o'clock, it's actually the whole course is pretty much shaded. Um, you go all the way down to the end of the bridge, go this way and come all the way back. Um, so we're gonna have a good time. And stay tuned. All right, mulligan round, extra shot round, pretty much every hole. And then GGB rules are uh, two off one. So technically, you get three shots if you really want it. Um, I'll go ahead and start us off. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a uh, photon starting us off. I'm going to go give it a try with the trespass. Oh shit. I get a little curve though. Really a bit of an admirer. Right into the tree, huh? Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna take my extra shot down there. Um, all right, that was our tee off on hole one. Let's go see where it is and see if we can have a good round. Two off one, there's my second one right there. There's the basket and there's my first one. I think a uh, first shot is pretty good. Let's see if Kevin can make his par. All right, so we're here at hole two. It's a nice little flick shot between a couple of trees down there. Let's we'll see who gets it parked. I'm expecting a, a neg 18 out of you, Dave, to be clear, so we know this. Rolls Damn. to the basket, I'll take it. It kept rolling to the basket, see? Yeah. Cool. All right, so Kevin's over there behind the pylon. Perfect upshot for a putt. So I made the decision here to not throw off the tee box twice on hole three. I think I'm gonna make try to make two putts. I was kind of a little ways away, but still put, puttable. So we're gonna see. Here's Kevin throwing. Great up. Let's see if I can make these putts. Didn't use my mulligan good enough. Let's see if I can make this shot. That's what you with me. This is one of the ones I really don't like. You gotta throw through these little uh, columns right here and it's Mando. This isn't the worst of them, but I do not like this one. Get the second column, 
second set of columns, dead center, I'll take it. All right, so now we just play four holes. I'm neg two. Yep. All right. And we're going to walk across the street to the next hole. Got some cars coming. Next tee box over there. I'll see you there. And so this hole right here, man, it gets me. I don't know to do a roller. I don't know to just throw it up the gut. So I bring two discs when I go. Okay. Oh. Walking up to it, it doesn't look very spectacular. All right, so this is the uh, hole six. You got a mando here and a mando right there. So two mandos, you gotta go through and then to the right. Let's see if we got it. So where his first one went is not actually that bad. Let's see if he can, uh, There's the second Mando. Got to go through those two down there and go right at this one. So this might be one of my actual favorite holes on the course. Maybe not my favorite, but one of my favorites. Got a nice little nook right here. People can sit down and relax, do whatever they need to do before they roll the, throw the hole. Um, but this is hole seven. It's a short little hole. It's only 169. It's not the shortest on the course, but let's see what we can do. Quick shot. I'm using a uh, Flight Factory Photon. So. Oh. Not what you want to do. Definitely going to have to throw my mulligan. We're right here at hole eight. Hole eight's actually a really good hole. Um, it's only 232. A lot of people will hyzer down the road and kind of try to splash into the basket. I like to flick right down the middle. There's two power lines down there. It's kind of hard to see um, right now, but let's see if we can make it down there. We're out here, some locals caught up to us. Made the putt though. <laughs> All right, so this is hole, hole nine. It's actually the shortest hole in the course. It's 168. Um, there's the basket over there. We got the fuck around squad over there. Um, but it's 168. It's not that bad, but it's a hell of a flick. If you mess up, it goes under the bridge down there and it's terrible shooting over. You only get a par. And put that down. We got local wildlife. <laughs> All right, guess what I did? Every disc golfer does this. 
you haven't gotten one of these, insert ad here. You gotta get you one of these little quick sticks. Let me try to see if I can get the angle. And there it came down. Here's mine right here on the ground. Park it. Reach shade off of this. Straight down. We call that two. All right, nine holes. What are we now? What are our points? Uh, neg five plus one. Neg five plus one. Let's see if you can turn that into neg five, and let's see if I can turn that into neg ten. A five on six? Yeah, because I threw my mulligan from the drive, and then on my second shot, I missed the mando. So instead of taking three, I was taking four which of course I didn't hit the basket, so five for the pattern. Sounds about right. We'll see it here. Hole 10 is actually a pretty decently hard hole because you got to make it through this first, you know, this first double Mando right here. And uh, it's a little hard. It's not the hardest of the Mandos. I think we've already done the hardest of the Mando and that was hole six uh, with the double. But. You gotta do make it through here. So hole 11, that's the one I just recently aced 15 days ago. It would be nice to get an ace on camera. I'm gonna try to set it up where you can see the basket beautifully. It's kind of a hard hole to see, but it's down there, set up right next to OB. This is a nice hole right here. Um, got the big old field open, got Division Street. Sooner or later, these right here, pastel buildings will actually be nice little businesses. Um, Maybe. I'm just talking shit okay. now. Again. One, let's see if he can make it with me standing right here. Hole 13. He still has the box. 2-2. Two, two. It's the same area. Tee boxes are next to each other. Good thing we got a mulligan. So this is hole 14. This is actually Drew's hole is what we call it. it we don't like it because it's an island. Pretty decent shot. I would say that this is probably the hardest manho, manho. I would say that this is probably the hardest Mando hole out here. It's hole 15. You gotta make it through those two. And then the the golf, the disc golf back is, basket is in the middle of two columns. Um, I'd say it's probably the hardest. It is a total of 228 to get there. Good thing we got a mulligan. Told you it's the hardest one to hit. Go in the basket. Close. This is what you call Sunday night lights. The lights just came on. It's creeping up on like 7.30, 7.45. We're at hole 16. We've got a couple of holes left. This is one of the hard holes too. There's a Mando down there. If y'all can see that light pole way down there, you gotta go Mando right of that pole.
we down there. Sink, oh. What can he do? Oh, what did I tell you? What was that? Birdie. Oh, throw in. Parks it. All right, so this is the last hole. What uh, what's the scores right now? Last hole, we're on hole 18. It's a 227 foot hole. It's not terrible. You can't see the basket from the tee box. It's behind one of the columns. Let's see what the score is. Neg 10, neg 1. Neg 10, neg 1. Let's see what we can do right here. I think I'm going to take another one. He's going to use his last mulligan of the round. Because why? Mulligans are awesome. That's why. He might have aced it. Let's go see. For our last two shots, there's mine, there's his. All right, that was the round, everybody, for the mulling around at the bridge. Biloxi, got me, do even care. We ended up, I'm an egg 11. Neg one, neg 11, I think, neg one. Not bad, not bad for some Biloxi disc golf. Let's see, he's got it pulled up. 